major headline and storyline right now, Caleb Williams and the development in their rookie franchise quarterback. What are you hearing from Bears camp? Well, two things. One, the Bears are working overtime to get him used to taking the ball under center. Shotgun, play action, all the nuances of their NFL-style offense, which he didn't always use at USC. I'm told he's really taken to that. I spoke to his personal quarterback coach, Will Hewlett, who got him ready for the draft. He said since early April, he's been working on the Bears' scheme, cadence, footwork, and that he knows that's going to protect him long term. He's also using his arm strength to try to see what he can get away with at OTAs, resulting in the occasional inaccurate pass or interception. That's okay. Trying to work out the... Okay, we're not talking about Kansas City. We're talking about the Chicago Bears. So yeah, I there was there was a lot of people also saying pre-draft that Caleb wouldn't be able to translate into the NFL, which I think is just silly and absurd. Um, it, it it's kind of shocking how many people predict or are trying to predict that Caleb Williams is going to be a bust, right? Like there's a it's louder than you think quite honestly obviously it's a lot of people that most likely do not like the chicago bears but it it, it was louder than i could remember for such a hyped up draft pick but i do remember most recently joe burrow a lot of people thought joe burrow would be a bust and they said well listen he really only had like one good year in college and he had good wide receivers like they, they kind of tried to act like he wasn't going to be good and joe burrow obviously he's been injury prone but he's clearly proven to be an elite quarterback no question and so people were kind of concerned with Caleb, which is it just seems to be like a common talking point with people who don't understand college football and NFL and just evaluating quarterback play. I think it's always funny that people think that they know more than like the actual literal experts who dedicate their lives to doing this very thing in terms of evaluating and trying to figure out who can go from college to the pros and that they think and it already has a low success rate to begin with because that's how hard it is and yet just the random person who's just seeing kind of highlights thinks that they have any idea and it just seems to me that the common talking point is always just this generic well it won't work in the nfl he doesn't know how to run a pro style offense or something. And it's always like, okay, that just seems to be like something that maybe like anyone can kind of repeat, right? Like it's just like an easy thing to say. And you can talk to anyone and and, and you sound smart, right? Like you could just be like, yeah, I don't think that offense, you know, he's going to work in, in the pros because of what he did in college. And people could just be like, oh yeah, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't think of it like that, right? Like, you know, like he doesn't run a pro style offense. Okay. What's a pro style offense? It's like, when they, you know, they, they, it's just, it's just different because in college they do different things. It's like, okay, cool. Right. So to me, that's what I've seen a lot of the arguments against Caleb, like not actually sound arguments. I think Caleb Williams is going to be an amazing quarterback in the NFL. I think he's going to be great. I think he is so popular right now that we are going to hear every up and every down in the OTAs preseason hard knocks, whatever it may be, we are going, it's like, we are going to hear everything. If he goes left, we're going to hear he's going left. If he's going right, we're going to hear about him going right. If he's taking a nap, Oh, Caleb Williams, he took a 30 minute nap. Most players only take 25 minutes naps. Does that mean that he's lazy? Is he lazy? Is he tired? Is he being overworked? Like you're just going to hear everything about it. If he makes a standard routine throw, you're going to hear, man, he was on target. His accuracy is through the roof. And it's just going to be like, okay. So it's just to me, um, it's going to be pretty funny to see. I'm all for, honestly, I love content. Um, I love creating content, obviously. Um, I'm all for riding the ups and downs, just having fun with it more than anything, quite honestly. But I just think that this whole idea that Caleb like wouldn't be able to transition into the NFL, I don't even want to say it was overblown because it's like it was a non-story that should have never really been anything in the first place. But it was something that again they they say they say it about every single quarterback essentially that was drafted was this guy's not going to be able to play in the NFL. So it's like okay, so then who can play in the NFL then, right? Um, but I just think that this um because it's funny you could see the quote um from will that's saying you know he that who's the qb coach he's ready for the pro game and i think it's such a simple quote right it is it's a simple quote and you're like well of course he's saying that that's his guy not necessarily you have a lot of people who want to try to temper expectations right and you have these other coaches whether it be from the patriots or wherever where they're just like yeah he's learning day by day or yeah he's getting better or 
yeah, he's got a lot to work on and, and we can see it. Like they, they kind of say things that are just kind of starting to plant those seeds of let's, let's relax. Let's temper expectations. Let's not expect too much. Right. And I'm, I'm not getting that necessarily. Of course you can find some of those sound bites as well. I'm sure. But for the most part, you are getting the confidence of like, he is ready. He can do this. Like why even question that? Why even doubt that? And again, like every time I ever make a, a video about Caleb is like, he's obviously going to have ups and he's obviously going to have downs. That's just the reality. Even seasoned veterans still to this day have ups and downs. It's just a shame that it's going to be so magnified on Caleb. And so to me, the real question ends up being is how does Caleb manage that? And again, I'm not saying that he's not going to be able to manage it, but it's just going to be interesting to see it because I already know what I'm going to get with Caleb. I'm going to get amazing quarterback play where you're going to be like, oh my God, this guy is the future of the NFL. He is going to set the league on fire. And then you're going to have moments when you're going to be like, oh yeah, he is a rookie. He needs to learn what what throw was that what did he see and you you're gonna you're gonna befuddle troy aikman troy aikman's gonna be like i'm not really sure what caleb was seeing there but you know uh you can see how he was looking for so and so but you know it's just that's what happens he could that's a throw that he could make in college that he can't make in the nfl and then you skip over it right like uh, you're gonna have those moments it's just again it's 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 as good as a guarantee but I just think, to me, those ups and downs and how he handles himself on the sideline, in the post game, uh, with the media, to me is more is a lot more interesting because those are more question marks to me because I don't know how he's going to handle that within the sphere of the NFL. We know what he's done in college in that regard, but to me, everything just keeps getting continued to get heightened and heightened and heightened. And again, I'm not saying that I don't think that he won't be able to successfully manage the ups and downs in the NFL. It's just... I'm just excited to kind of see how that all unfolds because you never know. It was it was fun to me to see Baker Mayfield in a lot of ways and Baker Mayfield crash and burn dealing with the media for, for a few seasons. He's finally seemed to kind of write that ship and you, we've seen other people get weird with the media uh, in the past and then you see other people that are completely buttoned up and always say the right thing. Dak Prescott graded the mic. Tom Brady, of course, graded the mic. Patrick Mahomes, Jalen Hurts, like these are all quarterbacks that just like always say the right things. And then occasionally we get those quarterbacks where you're just like, oh God, please just stop talking. And we haven't heard Caleb talk consistently at the mic because we haven't had the fo- we haven't had the football season start, right? Like we need, I want to hear him talk after a tough loss or a, a tough win and see what he says, how he conducts himself where he puts the praise, where he puts the blame. To me, that's going to be awesome to see because that's the one thing I don't know. I'm confident that his quarterback play is going to be great. It's going to be up to par. He is a rookie. We should give him grace. But again, I think the sky is the limit for the Chicago Bears. I think they're going to have a lot of success. And I do like hearing these these little sound bites about what's going on. And again, it is OTAs. Like it, It only matters so much. But... The truth is we can sit here and downplay every little thing that comes out. But at the same time, it's like we all want to just live and breathe within the NFL. So ride the waves. We, we can de-emphasize every single noise that comes our way. But it's just like, why? Why not just have fun with it? Why not engage with it? So that's my logic. And that's why I'm going to be um, kind of going more all in in the past. Like normally I throw preseason to the side. I'm like, I don't care what happens there. Like none of this matters. But now I am going to treat it more like it matters more because it's just I'm, I want to engage with it more and extend the NFL season. That's why they keep trying to add games because people love the NFL so much that in a lot of ways we all wish that it could go 365. So, um, but I think a story like this is pretty positive and um, pretty interesting, especially because just last week it was reported that he was having a terrible day and was throwing all these interceptions. And it's like, so, you know, you got to balance uh, the bad with the good. But those are just my thoughts. I would absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys think about Caleb Williams and his ability to transfer his game from college to the NFL and his ability to run a pro offense? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We are building an amazing community here, and I would absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to, something that we're really excited to be part of, and I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much, and see you next time.